Hi and welcome back everyone. Today we're going to share more of our principles of play. We're going to add two more games to your ever-growing stockpile of PE games. And as always, we'll share our three top tips at the end. We are on week two of our invasion game scheme of work. We've covered what invasion games are. We've looked at the 10 principles of invasion games and we've had a deep dive into two of them, movement and creativity. This week, we're going to look at two defending principles looking at how children can use pressure and patience to steal the ball back quickly. All we mean by pressure is quickly advancing on the ball with the aim of stealing it back. The quicker we apply the pressure, the less time and space our opponents will have. Patience means not being so keen to win the ball back that it verges on reckless. Over committing means our opponents can use other spaces in the field of play, and this might increase their chance of scoring. And our first game is diamonds. This gives children plenty of time to experiment to strike the perfect balance between patience and pressure. Set up a diamond, have the children start at each end and nominate one attacker and one defender. The attacker scores a point for getting to either side or three points for making it to the opponent's cone. The defender scores one point for tagging the attacker and starts two steps forwards before the game begins. And you simply restart the game if the defender tags the attacker or the attacker makes it to one of the cones. Encourage defenders to be proactive in engaging the defenders, but not so overly jealous that they leave themselves vulnerable to the changes of speed and direction of the attacker. You'll recall that we worked on this last week. Allow attackers to play with a range of sporting equipment, but remember that the focus is on defending. Game two is protect the king or queen. Here we get to look at defending in a more game-based scenario. Set up a base and put a ball in the middle of that for each child to protect. You're also going to put in a halfway line and the children are safe in their own half of the pitch. Defenders aim to apply the right balance of pressure and patience, waiting for the right time to strike and steal the ball back. The role of the attacker and the defender now swap over. Here's a great example of the defender adding too much pressure. They've gone in far too quickly, which then gives the attacker the opportunity to score. More patience was needed. And here's the opposite effect. We've been so patient that we've allowed the attacker to come into our half and given them almost a free shot at goal. In this scenario, we needed to apply more pressure. Allow children to play the game several times so they build up loads of repetition. This will support them as the children work through the trial and error process and also allow consolidation from the learning that took place last week. And as before, allow the attackers to play with a range of equipment. And here are our top tips. If space is quite limited, set up a bigger area and have an end zone instead of bases. Here you can have several one versus ones going on at the same time. Secondly, ask the defenders to pressure the attacker to stop them moving forwards easily. But as we've mentioned, being too keen gives the attacker opportunity to change speed and direction to escape down the sides. Encourage children to close the space quickly, but slow down, leaving a gap of about two to three steps. This makes it difficult for the attacker to move forward or escape down the flanks. Defenders can now keep closing in, remaining patient, waiting for the right time to steal the ball back. And finally, remember that the focus is not on attacking this week, it's on defending. The majority of your interventions will be on pressure and patience, but praise effective attacking when you see it. Thank you for watching everybody, I hope that you enjoyed this week's video. If you did, then please like and then share the video with anybody else that you feel would benefit from it. And as always, remember to subscribe so that you can catch next week's video. I'll see you then.